Here are a few exercises to strengthen the glute medius and minimus muscles. They are the deeper lateral hip muscles that contribute to pelvic stability and lower extremity function. In Pilates, we often do an exercise called clamshell that focuses on the larger, more superficial glute maximus and piriformis muscles. However, today we're targeting the deeper glute muscles instead. Glute medius and minimus weakness are often implicated in disorders of the pelvis, knees, and hips. So let's get started. You will need a foam roller or a firm ball like a soccer or volleyball. Make sure the legs are in line with the body. Place the roller in between the knees, then bend your knees so the feet are behind you, making sure to keep the knees in line with your hips, not in front of them. Tuck your tail slightly to confirm the low back is an arched or hyperextended. This will also help you stay out of your TFL and IT band on the side of the hip. Lift and lower your foot by internally and externally rotating your hip. Keep the foot relaxed the entire time. I'm doing 15 repetitions here, but you can do more or less depending on how well you maintain your form. Be sure your knees remain stacked so as not to let the top knee slide forward or back when you internally and externally rotate. Keep the head, neck, and shoulders relaxed and make sure to inhale deeply and exhale completely. When you're finished, tap the glute muscle to alleviate any tension. Next, remove the foam roller. Place the legs back in the same position. Lift the top leg to hip height. Internally rotate the leg without dropping the knee down towards the other leg. It's as if the roller is still in place. Perform the same number of repetitions. Next, bring the knees forward of the hips slightly, keeping a bend at the knee. Lift the entire top leg in this bent knee position without shifting the pelvis. Only lift the top leg to hip height or slightly higher so as not to hike your hip up to your rib cage. Make sure the leg stays directly above the other leg. Remember to maintain that slight tail tuck and relax your head, neck, and shoulders. Breathing in, breathing out. Okay, last exercise. Remain in position with the top leg at hip height. Internally rotate the leg so the knees touch. Then lift the knee and externally rotate so the feet touch. Keep alternating the internal and external rotation of the hip. I could only do 10 of these as my hip was burning and tired. It's important to maintain proper form the entire time, and that will determine the number of repetitions that you do. Change to the other side. Start with the foam roller in between the knees. Make sure that the knees are in line with the torso and the feet are behind you. Bend at 90 degrees without rolling the hips or knee forward, lift and lower the foot by internally rotating the hip. 
Remember to keep the head, neck, and shoulders relaxed and make sure you're breathing in deeply and exhaling completely. It's important on this one to also maintain a slight tail tuck, as I said on the first side. And I'm doing 15 repetitions in this video. Now remove the foam roller. Here I placed it under my head because I have a frozen shoulder on this side, so it's uncomfortable to lay on the shoulder. Make sure to bring the body back into the exact same position that it was just in, with the knees in line with the torso. Lift your leg to hip height, and then lift the foot by internally rotating the hip. Trying not to drop your knee down towards the other leg, and also not moving the knee forward and back. Now bring the knees slightly forward of the hips, maintaining the bend at the knee. Here you're going to lift your entire top leg up and down. Breathing in, breathing out. Making sure the leg stays directly above the bottom leg, even as you lift. Finally, lift the top leg to hip height, and then internally rotate the hip to kiss the knees together, then externally rotate the hip to kiss the feet together. Back and forth, internally and externally rotating the hip. You should definitely be feeling the burn by now. Finally, come to sitting for a glute stretch. Cross one ankle over the other thigh, then bend the opposite leg to stretch the outer hip and glute muscles. Lift tall through the chest. The deeper you bend the legs, the more stretch you'll feel. If you feel any knee pain, flex your feet. Hold the stretch for 30 to 60 seconds, then switch sides. You can perform these exercises daily to help strengthen the glutes, which will help stabilize the pelvis, hips, and knees. Reach out if you have any questions, and thank you so much for watching.